within the lungs there are huge number of structures called the alveoli so if we see the structure of the lungs and here these microscopic structures which are being enlarged over here and what we can see these are the alveoli so number of alveoli small sac like structures and they are collectively forming the alveolar sac so in this case as we see this is a cup shaped structure lined by simple squamous epithelium and it is resting on a basement membrane just like any epithelium the alveolar sac consists of two or more alveoli which share a common opening so alveolar sac is the largest structure and one alveolar sac will be having few number of alveoli the wall of the alveoli as we said it is lined by simple squamous epithelium and these squamous epithelial cells these can be called pneumocytes and these pneumocytes are categorized into two types type 1 pneumocytes and type 2 pneumocytes now type 1 pneumocytes are more numerous and they are the main sites of gaseous exchange that means through these pneumocytes oxygen and carbon dioxide are going to be exchanged while type 2 pneumocytes these are fewer in number and these are secreting surfactant which is a mixture of phospholipids and lipoproteins and the phospholipid present in this surfactant is lecithin so lecithin is one phospholipid which is secreted and the purpose is to reduce the surface tension now surface tension is the property of moisture or water which tends to reduce the surface area so these alveoli they are having a moist inner lining and this moisture if it was pure moisture and when we have exhaled out air what would have happened this moisture will tend to bring the walls closer so that it acquires a very small size and in that case what would have happened the alveoli would have collapsed if there is no surfactant then when we exhale air the alveoli would collapse and that collapse of alveoli is called atelectasis this is collapse of alveoli and to prevent this collapse the alveolar lining is not having pure moisture but some surfactant mixed in it and this surfactant has detergent like property that means it is reducing surface tension so that even when we exhale air the air pressure inside the alveoli decreases then too they won't collapse and in case of smokers the amount of surfactant secreted becomes lesser and there are greater chances of collapse now the total number of alveoli that we have that is around 300 million in the two lungs together and these alveoli other than the pneumocytes that is the simple squamous epithelial cells they are also having some macrophages and macrophages here are also called dust cells now when we inhale air the larger particulate matter that is trapped in the nasal cavity itself that is stopped from going into the lungs in the nasal cavity itself very finer particles will be going into the tracheal passage where the mucus will trap it and the cilia which are lining the tracheal lining the pseudostratified ciliated epithelium that is continuously moving outward it is forming a mucus escalator so that those particles along with mucus it is pushed outward into the pharynx where we keep on swallowing it however very very fine particles they cannot be stopped even in the conducting zone and they would be reaching to the alveoli and there the macrophages will then finally trap them so this is how the alveoli are now alveoli are the site where the exchange is going to take place between the blood vessels and of course the alveolar lining which combined is forming the respiratory membrane 
and as we mentioned we have nearly 300 million alveoli in the two lungs together and the surface area is 80 square meters which is nearly the area of the tennis court the lawn tennis court so you can imagine the large surface area that we are having inside of a chest cavity where air exchange is taking place now if we talk about this respiratory membrane now here you can see this is the alveolus and surrounding it there are the blood capillaries now in this case the alveolar epithelium which we mentioned is the simple squamous epithelium then below it there would be a basement substance as well as there is basement substance in the capillary endothelium also and here we have the capillary endothelium now the capillary endothelium is also simple squamous epithelium and these three layers together that means alveolar epithelium plus the basement substance plus the capillary endothelium these three layers together is having a thickness of 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 micrometers and it has to be very thin then only simple diffusion can take place if this respiratory membrane becomes thicker the diffusion rate will become less so it is inverse proportionality we can see thinner the respiratory membrane higher would be the rate of diffusion now let us take up a question related to human respiratory system so here what is the function of respiratory part of the human respiratory system now respiratory part now respiratory part is meant for exchange of gases let us see the options it clears the incoming air from foreign particles this is conducting zone or the nasal cavity is doing this function it brings the temperature of air up to the body temperature that is again in the conditioning zone of the nasal cavity it transports the atmospheric air that is the entire bronchial tree is doing that it exchanges O2 and CO2 between blood and atmospheric air now this is the correct choice so here our answer is option 4 now let us take one more question in lungs the air is separated from the venous blood through so we have just now studied the structure of the respiratory membrane so it is the respiratory membrane which is separating the air from the blood so transitional epithelium now transitional epithelium is a special epithelium which is associated just with the urinary system so we needn't read this option further because this cannot be part of the respiratory system now squamous epithelium of the alveoli plus the endothelium of the blood vessels now this is correct but let us review the other options as well squamous epithelium of alveoli plus cubical epithelium of blood vessel now this is wrong because capillaries are lined by simple squamous epithelium which is called endothelium here cubical epithelium of alveoli that is again incorrect because it is simple squamous epithelium so we have seen that the correct answer is option 2 now that brings us to the end of today's class where we have discussed about the human respiratory system and also reviewed some respiratory organs of other animals now in the next class we'll be discussing how this exchange of gases does take place that's all for now have a wonderful day thanks for watching